Here's how to make a cool looping background you can use in After Effects. Start with your rectangle tool set to no fill and a stroke set to five. Draw a small rectangle like this in the center of your comp. Now go over to the pan behind tool up here, hold command or control and double click it to center the anchor point. Go over to a line and center it both horizontally and vertically on your comp. Now go over here and click this button to turn the rectangle into a 3D object. Hit P on your keyboard for position and set a keyframe at the beginning of your timeline. Move forward five seconds, hold shift and drag your Z position left until the rectangle moves out of frame. Hold alt or option and click on the stopwatch to open its expression panel. Type loop out, open parentheses, close parentheses, and this will make it so that the rectangle will keep animating on its own. Now we're gonna add three effects to our expanding rectangle. For the first, go to effect, time, echo. Set the echo time to one and the number of echoes to five. For the second, go to effect, stylize glow. And for our third effect, you've just gotta duplicate the glow with command or control D and make the duplicates glow radius 60. The two glows together will give this really nice neon effect. It's starting to really come together, but the way the rectangles spawn in is a problem. So to hide it, let's move to the beginning of our timeline and duplicate the rectangle. Click on the position stopwatch of the new rectangle to deanimate it. And if you get this error message like I did, don't worry, everything's completely fine. Turn off its 3D layer, go up here and add a fill that's the same color as your stroke. Now bring up the scale of your rectangle and increase it just a little bit so it's bigger than the other ones and it hides the animated ones as they spawn in. Lastly, we're gonna punch it up a bit by right clicking and adding an adjustment layer. To the adjustment layer, go to effect, noise and grain, and add some noise. Set the noise amount to 10% and turn off color noise. Now go to effect, distort, optics compensation. Turn on reverse lens distortion and set the field of view to an amount you like. For me, it's 75. And look at that. You know how to make a looping tunnel animation, and I don't know how to transition into an ad. If you're looking to save time and produce awesome work right here in After Effects and Premiere Pro, check out our links below to get access to our Motion Duck extension, which contains thousands of editable templates that are easy to update and ready to go for any commercial, client, and personal project.